WBI Living. It's fun to travel, whether it's a spontaneous trip or a trip you plan in advance. Maybe, say, a bucket list trip. Here with a few bucket list vacations, it's Get Out of Town, sponsored today, Anywhere, Anytime Journeys. Brad Martin is back with us. So, uh, our first destination is a mouthful. <laughs> it's Omer Amargau, which is where the Passion Play is done once every 10 years. Oh. And it's got a lot of history because back in 19, uh, 1632, there was a plague and a lot of the townspeople died. So in Pentecost in 19, I mean 1634, they did the first Passion Play with the idea that they'd have this Passion Play every 10 years so, the, uh, so this would not happen again. So this is a lot of people's bucket list vacation destination. It is. In fact, I had an aunt. She never went, but every 10 years she wanted to go so badly. Well, it sounds like it's kind of hard to, to book it because you have to plan it out two years in advance since it's every 10 years, right? Right. Already uh, we had two groups and one group is already full. Oh, um, wow. We only had like 30 seats for the tic uh, tickets. We do have this other group that actually hits five European destinations as well as uh, having prime tickets for the play. But it goes to, uh, you go to a family's vineyard and you have dinner with them, which was actually part of, the, they have a lot to do with World War II and the fact that they had, um, they were held, uh, were a hiding place for the Jewish uh, of Hungary. Yeah. So it looks like there's five countries you visit. Right. Okay. So Germany, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Budapest, Vienna, Austria, and then your meals? Um, you have six of your dinners are included and all your breakfast. Um, and it is totally hosted. So there'll be uh, somebody from our company that will be on the trip with you. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you're wanting to go and experience that, and um, this is now's probably the time to make those plans, right? Right. And the thing is, if you don't have to pay for the whole amount up front, uh, the initial deposit is only like $200. Oh, nice. And you have until the final payment isn't due until um, you know 2020. So you have a way ways to buy it but it's just, it's something if you want to do you need to book it now that's right that's why it's on your bucket list so right. you can plan in advance all right something else big happening next year is the 75th anniversary of d-day that's correct and we tried to book uh or we have a i love river cruises as we've talked about before and we tried to book the uh, paris normandy river cruise for d-day we couldn't get it but we do have group space in july and actually that particular cruise is the number one cruise right now in Europe, just going to Normandy, going down from Paris, going to Normandy. Wow, and then there's a whole bunch of other places that you get to go and experience that I cannot even pronounce. But what are we looking at here? Um, that's that's just, uh, that is actually Normandy. Okay. So, and what happens is with this, you know, because of course that is uh, a, one pe a lot of people's big bucket list is going to Normandy and France. Um, I don't whether mean whether you're young or old because you've studied it in the history books. And being the 75th anniversary on June 6th, it's something that's going to be really popular next year. And like I said, we have group space on this particular one, but once again, it's going to be one that's going to fill up fast because of the popularity. So how does that work when you travel with a group? Um, what's going to happen is you're going to actually have somebody there with you that will guide you on. You're going to, um, and you have questions, they're there for you as well. And what's great about this particular trip, it's one of those that starts in Paris and ends in Paris. So if you want to start in England and then go to Paris, you can do that. And what's great about the river cruise that we're using, which is Alma Waterways, they actually include bikes on the cruise for you. So if you want to ride the bikes in the, on the uh, river banks and the Normandy and all that, you can do that. But um, with a group, you're going to have a little bit added, added amenities. Yeah, well, it looks like you're going to see some beautiful sights. I can see why this would be on someone's bucket list. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to guess you've already been there, so this one's already crossed off yours, huh? I haven't been to Normandy, <laughs> but I've been to France many times. The last river cruise I did, I did a, a river cruise for the south of France, and of course that has a lot of the Roman history from the uh, Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, well, it looks beautiful, and I'm sure if anybody has a different destination on their bucket list, you can help them with that. Yes, I just helped somebody with her, her desire was to learn how to surf at 41, and she's 
she's actually going to Bali for three weeks to learn how to surf. Oh my goodness. So you're going with her to give her lessons? No, but <laughs> <laughs> no. but she's staying in the same property as I did. So And that's know. nice that you know the, the place and that you can, you know, give her that first hand experience right. knowledge that um, someone else may not be able to do. Yeah. All right, it's Brad Martin with Anywhere Anytime Journeys there in Rant School. Be sure to visit CILiving.tv and we'll be able to connect you with him and um, how you can start planning that dream bucket list vacation.